from the unfinished projects thing. I found this guy that I'd started to, I don't even know how many years ago, 10, 15 years ago. This is a guy called General Colbert, C-O-L-B-E-R-T. I believe that's how you spell it. One of Napoleon's generals is in the uniform of a uh, Dutch Lancer, sort of. But done up a bit for uh, the fact that he's a general. And you can see what he looks like there. Let's make sure that's zoomed in properly. Let's see if we can get a, get a closer up of him. Uh, because I did this several years ago, um, you can see that uh, cummerbund or whatever that's called, the sash that he's got. That needs to be um, redone. But some parts of this are quite good. I like the little decoration on his legs. I've also got all these parts. I don't have any instructions. I don't know where they are or uh, where they might be. I've got buckles, uh, some sort of ornament. Another buckle, and it's a shoulder decoration. Not all of these are used, of course, so I might have just painted these up really for them being used. Unlike this other little figure that I was working on, which I um, assembled everything and then painted it, which is also an okay way to do things, but with, with small scales, it can, it can be quite challenging. Okay, and there's this helmet. You can see some fantastic details. Let's see if we can get in a bit closer even on that. You can see the N for Napoleon. And uh, I think his little crown he's got above it. Looks pretty good anyway. Anyway, this guy here is his horse, by the way. Let's show you that. Let's zoom back in again. This fix there's some nice horses. People do criticize him for being too uh, slim, that kind of thing. But I think they're pretty good. Maybe I do uh, look at this particular example, maybe uh, do a little bit more to his saddle cloth and that uh, uh, animal hide. Leopard or whatever that might be on his uh, saddle. You'll see I haven't bothered with the, uh, you see these little um, imperial eagles and crowns. They come, see if I've got them here, they come in separate parts. Um, no, I can't see them there. And then they weren't on that other little piece we looked at. So I don't know where they are, maybe lost over the course of time. And obviously I've decided, oh wait, there's another, another little sprue here, but no, they're definitely not on there because that's just horseshoes. Um, yeah, so you usually get the, the all these decorations as separate pieces. I'm not entirely sure. I can't say for sure that's what happened with this kit, but usually you do. But obviously, uh, it looks like I've decided to paint those on anyway, so I can always redo those to a bit better. And this is going to be, I think. Oh, I've got something else here. What's this? Uh, some more buckles and catches. Okay. And then I've also got so the, let's see if I get these sorted out right. This is the, uh, the bridle for the horse. Okay, it's plastic, I think these are paper, paper things. Okay, so this kit is probably, mm, Depending on what standard you want it to uh, get to. It's 
probably um, 50% done, 60% done. Could just stick it all together now, really, and leave it and say it's done. But I think I'll give it another going over. Okay, anyway, that's going to be the next project, I think. So I'm going to leave it there. Take care and see you next time. Bye. Okay, well, I am. Um, so we're going to do a bit of updating on this figure. I'm going to start off with his face. Oh, this is, this is how I painted it some years ago. It doesn't look too bad, but it could do with a little tidy up here and there. You can see, just put it all the way around. So that's currently what it looks like. Make sure he's right in focus. And then we'll see um, see how he looks in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, well, I said uh, in the last little video that I was going to uh, have a go at uh, tidying up some of the painting on this fella. So I've redone his face a little bit anyway, not hugely, his hands. There's uh, a belt he's got around his stomach, his cummerbund or whatever you, whatever the right name for that is. Redone the gold on his um, epaulets and this uh, um, other bits and pieces wherever that uh, crops up, sash and things. Now these are the decorations that uh, <clears throat> had previously been on the leg. I haven't changed this leg. But I've uh, begun to change this one. I have something in mind, but we'll see how it works out. Anyway, I'll do that, that for the next time, probably. Anyway, there's the little fella in all his glory. I think it looks okay. But once I see this on a big screen, I'll know one way or the other, because it doesn't half uh, show up your mistakes when you play it in there. 60 inch TV at 4K. Okay, well, hope you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.
just a quick update. Um, I've been changing some of the uniform details on this guy, tidying things up a little bit here and there, but not too much. I've also come across some of the parts put on. Is a saber was missing. The saber tie, saber tie, well, however you say that, as well. Plus a few other bits and pieces. Stirrups. And I, was, I wasn't too happy with the uh, the state of the horse before. So, well, primarily the uh, saddle cloth. So I've uh, repainted that. I've also done some work on his legs. There's still a little bit of a mold line there to take off. But mostly that. Put the other horseshoe on down there. I've got two now. So this is horse. I've got to paint the uh, embroidery around the edge again. Okay, so that's that away. Pretty hard to paint that when it's on the base. But you've got to hold the whole base and everything. And it's, uh, you know, it's a bit of a nuisance. It gets in the way. Okay, what I'm going to do next is some embroidery on here. I also noticed that I missed a bit just in there. I don't know if you can... Lights catching that, but that should go up, go behind there. And I didn't see that, and I missed it. I can give that a go now as well. Okay, so that's just a quick update on where I'm at at this moment. Okay, well, I've done a bit more work on his uh, face and uh, on his trousers and so on. I've done all this um, sort of herringbone pattern. But to be honest, I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to do it again. But I think his face is uh, finally beginning to look a bit better. So if we can zoom right in. Those are maybe still a bit too big. I'll just show you what it would look like. Come on, stay focused. So, excuse me. With this helmet on, it's a bit, a bit dark. If I, if I can adjust the light somewhere. Catch him on. Oh, he doesn't look too bad at the moment. Still needs finishing off. I did get to the point a while ago where I had sort of given up on this, ever getting them to look right. So I would send off for some replacement heads. Here's one of them, hornet heads. So I did a little bit of work on that yesterday. It's just really a sort of a base coat. But then I wasn't... I wasn't happy with that either. <laughs> so, I'm gonna keep that for something else. That's that. And I think everything else is just, uh, horse is progressing, you can see over there. One horse, into focus. Some 
pieces. And everything else is coming along reasonably okay, if a bit slowly. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. See you next time. Okay, back again. Last little bit. I've redone his um, the decoration down the side of his uh, trousers. A little bit on his uh, back. And just tied it up and so on and so forth. That's him. I've also started working on the uh, the horse's saddle, repainting it. To finish the whole thing off. The horse and the saddle. I'm quite happy with that, I think. I think it looks okay. Certainly looks better than it did. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Okay, General Colbert is still um, uh, on his journey to uh, repair. Being in full working order. That's where he is. So I want to show you this. Which is, um, is, as you can see, um, petting house decals for, uh, these are for the German Wehrmacht army. And um, you think, well, what's that got to do with this? Well, the thing is, this guy here, he would have had some super splendid decorations on his uniform. Which, uh, 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 I did not particularly fancy do it at the moment. Um, I'd rather start a new figure from scratch if I was going to do that. But some of these decals here, let's see if I can zoom in. Like those ones. There. They're pretty fancy. So what I was thinking was I might cut some of those off. A couple of those. Uh, you get into focus. And I put a couple of them on his collar. And then I also have some other decals, uh, which I'll dig out later. And uh, let's see if we can do something with those as well. The bigger decals. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've put some micro set on the, um, on the figure himself. I've wet out the decals. You can see this okay. Is that the right way around? Okay. So you can see that. One. Let's see if we can do the other one. I think now that I've put these decals on, uh, they would have looked. Better on a um, like a whiter, some other light coloured background. Right, I've done them both anyway. Let them dry out. Have a uh, Detail that okay, okay. Well, I just showed you uh, me applying those little 
corner decals to him. I'm not not very impressed with them because uh, I think they need to be on a, a light background, which I think I said. And I do have these other decals as well. These are Tamiya, these ones. Yeah, uh, one, one sixteenth scale. So for, for very large figures. And I've got some, uh, I think these are be better decals. I've got things like these. And I'll suppress that one. Okay. The thing is, of course, though, uh, those wouldn't look good on his collar because uh, they're huge. They, they're not going to fit. Hope you can see that okay. None of those big decals. I've also got small decals on this one. Like, let's see. Let's get closer and look. Let's zoom in. See, like, yeah, like those. They maybe look okay. Or also, of course, these, which are similar to the ones I just put on, but they look a lot more uh, opaque. The uh, padding house ones look um, transparent. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these then, that's what I intend to do, is put them on his arms. On his upper arms there maybe. Oops. Let's see, you in focus? Yep. Yeah. There. And say there. We'll see how that looks. So uh, also with the diff one of the other differences between these decals is the petting house decals come on a single carrier film sheet, so you have to cut round exactly every decal. Whereas these uh, Tamiya decals made by Cartograph, they come on separate little um, uh, bits of carrier film, so you can you can they'll they'll sort of separate automatically. I just wanted to say that in case anybody else ever ends up using these petting house ones in particular, the whole sheet is one big page of uh, carrier film, which isn't well, it's a bit a little bit of an issue, but. Not much. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Back in a minute. Okay, I have applied some micro set, this one, blue one, onto the figure. And now I'm going to um, um, put the decal on. Let's see, here we go. Put that on there. Well, if you can see that, oh, it looks very thick, this decal. Let's move it up a bit. Right. Put the other one on. Put it in place anyway. Both sort of in position. I'm going to have to try now is uh, some decal softener, so I'll be right back. Okay, here he is. I've put a bit of this on, this uh, Tamiya Mark Fit. Stronger, I think it's a bit stronger than the uh, 
micro sole one and it's um I think it's starting to work. I'm not hundred percent sure. Anyway, I think I'm gonna to have to let those dry for a while and see how they look and then possibly put some more on. Okay, I'll stop there for now. Thank you.